Welcome again to the series, Is That a Truth? This is the last part of the series and we hope you liked every episode of this production. In today's episode, we are giving you three more space stories that took the imagination of people by storm, but actually, the stories were fake. Please stay tuned. Number 16. Something is tossing comets at Earth. There is a theory making rounds in several space groups and that is, Nemesis. According to theory, there is a sort of star which is located at the edge of the solar system. The orbital movements of the star, along with its gravity, maneuver comets toward the Earth after every 27 million years which causes mass destruction to the species on our planet. However, the theory was nullified by a study that concluded that the comets striking Earth were at random. There are no specific patterns about comets hitting the Earth. Number 17. Venus fosters life. In 1966, the Soviets sent a probe to Venus. Though the spacecraft, Venera 3, crash-landed on the surface, the Soviets kept on sending the unmanned probes to the surface of Venus. Before they were destroyed by the extreme environment, the spacecraft sent data back to Earth. In 2012, a Russian news service, RIA Novosti, made a strange claim, which said, there is some sort of life on Venus that was found by earlier probes. A scientist named Leonid Kassanfamiliti who was a member of the Venus Project claimed that the data received from earlier Venusian probes showed some signs of life forms on the surface of Venus. Later on, when NASA sent its probe to Venus they clarified that the life forms mentioned by Russian scientists are just natural Venusian patterns taken with a low-resolution camera by a Soviet probe. NASA further clarified the strange figures picked up by earlier probes were blur over the image. Number 18. Aliens crashed in Roswell. Many of us have heard the story of the alien spaceship crash in Roswell in 1947. The story spread so far and wide that there are still quite a bit of people who think it is the truth. There are accounts by the inhabitants of the area that a disc-like object crashed on the fields and government officials covered it up. Among those accounts, some said that the crash was a weather balloon that looked pretty bizarre to the locals and they came up with the idea that it is a UFO. The US military has the same clarification. The spokesperson of the military said that the crashed UFO was a special weather balloon sent to high altitude to keep track of the sound waves caused by suspected Soviet nuclear tests. This ends the six-episode video series, Is That a Truth? Galaxian Channel is determined to give its viewers the best and true stories happening in the cosmos. We have always emphasized that without the support of our viewers we would have not come so far. We will appreciate your support in the future also. For now please give us your feedback and subscribe to us for future updates. Please stay tuned for the next upcoming video.